Welcome back guys and today is the day we're going to be installing the Western Digital Black SN850X. Fantastic drive with unbelievably fast read and write speeds, perfect for gaming. Now for a while I've had the Western Digital Black SN850, the one terabyte uh, edition, and that's been running for a good while now, haven't had any issues with it. Lightning fast and uh, today we have, uh, it's been out for a little while, but this is the first time I've got my hands on it. This is a two terabyte edition, Western Digital Black SN850X. Uh, a slight upgrade to the previous one with even faster read write speeds, perfect for gaming, which is what I need it for. Um, now, before I get into the specs, let's uh, open it up and I'll show you how to install it into the system. Here we go. Now the first thing of course that we're going to have to do is remove the graphic card so I can access the slot for the NVMe drive. <clears throat> okay, first things first, we need to remove the cover for the M.2 drive by loosening these two screws here. Okay, once that's out of the way, we can take our NVMe drive and you see that little notch there, that goes onto that side. You'll be able to see it much better than on this video. There's a slot where that goes in. Place it in position and push it in gently but firmly. It'll snap into place like that. This side will be raised. Then you have to hold that down and use your NVMe screw to tighten it to the motherboard, gently of course. Hold it in place. Sorry, my hands are shaky. Hold it in place and screw it in. And there you have it. Your M.2 drive is installed. Right, what we have to do now is gently remove the plastic cover from the thermal pad. And then we can place this on top of the M.2 drive. Okay, now we position it very carefully. Make sure we line up the screws. Do the first one, hold the back side in place so it doesn't slip off. There we go. And now hopefully the back screw is aligned. And it is, it is not. There we have it. Both screws are tightened in position and you're good to go. Okay, now what I'm supposed to do is uh, show you how to initialize the disk in Windows. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. I installed the SN850X and uh, it posted, it showed up in Windows uh, for one day and then um, actually for a few hours and then after a system reboot it didn't show up anymore. Then so I opened up the system, checked what was going on. Uh, I found the issue, there was a, a little blockage in the slot, the M.2 slot, uh, a little piece of paper or plastic. I got rid of that, the drive posted again. So I was filming the next stage of the video and uh, once again, uh, after a little while, the drive disappeared. So I can't show you the next bit on the PC. I have, I have however, borrowed some uh, images from the CPUguide.com. So thank you for that, guys. So I can show you the next step in initializing your NVMe drive in Windows. So without further ado, let's get into that part of the video. Okay, so now that you have installed your new NVMe M.2 drive, we need to take a couple more steps so that Windows will recognize it. Here's what you need to do. Click on your start button right here. Then in the search box, type in create and format hard disk partitions. Click here to open. 
At the initialize disk pop-up, select GPT and then click OK. Scroll down to locate your drive. It will be the one with the black bar across the top and will, it will say unallocated. Right click that and select new simple volume. Then click on next. Then again, next. Now here you can choose the letter for your drive. Then once again, click on next. And here under volume label, you can name your drive uh, anything you want. You can name it uh, Samsung 980, Western Digital SN850 or whatever pleases you. Uh, and then once that is done, of course, you click on next. And then finally, click on finish and that's it. Your new drive is successfully installed. You can open Windows Explorer to check uh, that it's showing up and now you're ready to fill it with whatever takes your fancy. Now before I leave you, here are some specs for the SN850X. It comes in 1, 2 and 4 terabyte options. The 1 and 2 terabyte sticks come with an optional heatsink. The SN850X is also lightning fast and delivers speeds of up to 7300 megabytes per second. It's compatible with Windows 11, Windows 10 and Windows 8.1. And it can also work with a PlayStation 5 providing you use the heatsink model of the SN850X. You can also monitor the health of your device uh, with the and control the RGB lighting of the heatsink versions only with the Western Digital Black dashboard software. Well, there you have it, guys. That was a short, brief video about the Western Digital SN850X, which... Uh, I got working in my system momentarily, but then apparently it was my, uh, actually the socket that it plugs into, that's faulty after all the tests I've done. It runs in the main socket, the top one, on my B550F motherboard, uh, but since it's blank, uh, I haven't had the time to clone the drive, and then uh, it has to have that as my main drive. That was gonna be my storage drive. So I'm going to figure out a few more things and have it ready for you in the next video or the one after that. Until then, take care, guys.